Lot's wife has been known throughout time as this woman that looked back on Sodom and Gomorrah and longed for it. At least that's the picture I always got when I heard people speak of her, was that she wanted to go back to Sodom and Gomorrah. And that never made any sense to me. They were being destroyed. And, I mean, it didn't say she wanted to, but she did look back. And they were warned when they left to flee, to not look back. And she did. And she was turned into a pillar of salt. I don't know how many times in my life I've thought about Lot's wife, or I've been told to remember Lot's wife when we look back at our lives and have grief or mourning for something that's lost, um, especially when it was something negative, and that people judge that situation as not something you should want to be in. And that was true. Don't get me wrong, that was all true, but it didn't really make a lot of sense to me because when I had looked back at things that I was grieving for, like when I was going through a divorce and my husband was divorcing me, I was very upset, and I was told to remember Lot's wife. And I understood that there was problems in the marriage, don't get me wrong, but I was still mourning and grieving. It wasn't that I wanted to go back to all of this, this dysfunction that was going on. It was that it was my marriage, right? And I think this happens a lot. I think that we often do this to people when we paint Lot as, I mean, Lot's wife in this way. But something happened this week and the Lord showed me something. And I knew that there would be consequences for some people. And then I was walking away. Right? This is something I was shown. And it was just walk away. Just That's not what I was told to do. I was just led to leave, the, leave this behind, right? And so I'm walking and I get the impulse to reflect back on a particular person. Looking back at a woman I care about. And I stopped myself because the impression that I got from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit that was leading me, was don't look back. And I remembered Lot's wife. It wasn't don't look back, but like just don't look. Don't look. That was more of what it was. But I wanted to look not because I wanted to go back to the situation. It was that I cared about what was going to happen to this person and I didn't look. I didn't look. And I realized as I was walking, because I was actually walking when this happened, that when we look back at people who the Lord is dealing with and feel sorry for them and pity them, we're making quite a big judgment we are implying that God's justice and God's judgment is not righteous. Or why would we pity them? Why would we look back and go, oh, poor them? If it's God doing it, it's not for us to do. And I thought about Lot's wife and I realized, maybe, and I'm not saying this is true, I'm just applying it to my own life, perhaps she was actually looking back at the people that she cared about and feeling sorry for them, pitying them, before she was turned to salt. I think there's a lot more to think about when it comes to Lot's wife and Sodom and Gomorrah and the way the situation happened. And we shouldn't make assumptions that Lot's wife is one way or the other. And I'm trying not to assume here either. I'm just applying the wisdom of the scripture to my own life. So I hope this helps others um, in some small way and uh, that we can pray and consider these interesting topics in more depth with the Lord by our side.